Hi guys, welcome back. You can tell that I have someone here with me, obviously. You guys, it's Jocelyn <laughs> Davis, if you don't know who she is. I am so excited to be here. First off, you know I'm a diehard fan stan of you. Anything you say, I fully believe as truth from heaven above, but I'm also incredibly shook to be here today. Yeah, are Very you nervous? Uh, yes, my one armpit that does sweat is already sweating. Yes, I'm nervous. <laughs> Jocelyn is one of my favorite people in life. Oh. Like if you follow her on social media, on YouTube, anything, she's just one of the happiest, most positive people I've ever met. And she just, I don't know, you just light up my day. Oh my gosh, likewise, Susan, you're going to bring me to tears. <laughs> no, but I feel the same about you. And I think it's so amazing how you have built literally an empire. You have done so many things this year. First off, you made a human being, which that's, like, that's true. let's I give you some credit for that. Yeah. You're in this beautiful new studio space and you had a million subscribers. That's hard. I, I'm really excited. You things should are be. Really looking up these days. Are yeah. you subscribed yet? If not, what's wrong with you? <laughs> well, first off, are you guys subscribed to Jocelyn's <laughs> oh, channel? Thank you. If you guys don't know, she is one of the founders of Clever um, and she then went over, started her own channel, yep. which mm -hmm. has been amazing. You've been doing a lot of like your own, per I feel like it's a lot of your own personal lifestyle, yes, right? It is. It's Even still... like house makeovers and yes. everything. Yes. So that's something we're really jumping into. My new husband and I am newly married. Yes, she is. Married woman now. Um, we're really jumping into the real estate game in our real life, but also I've been documenting it on YouTube. So that's been really fun, but it is kind of at this point, like a sampler platter of yeah. me. Yeah, it really yeah. is. And I love seeing that because I feel like I know you more, even though we don't like hang out as much. <laughs> it's like, I feel like I know you even more than it's I used so to It's so crazy. Social media is so deceptive. I'm like, I haven't seen you in like a long time, but I've been I know like a year, you guys. Everything about well, your we life. We run into each other on the street. True. The mean streets it's of Los weird. Angeles. <laughs> but uh, you also have shared channels. Yes. That's awesome. A new company. It's, it's very so awesome. exciting. Yeah. yeah. So there's a Crazy. lot. I'm going to leave all her information below so that you guys can check her out. But obviously we're going to take a look at her skincare routine because she posted a video not too long ago. <laughs> I did. And I was I about did. to watch it. And then she DM me and she was like, please don't freak out. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, I, I'm for sure going to freak out. You guys, if you don't know, I am that annoying friend that will DM you and tell you to wear your sunscreen, right? I was on my honeymoon in the middle of quite literally nowhere in Africa on safari and I got a DM from Susan that was like we're gonna talk about your sunscreen when you get home or Young something, lady. Like, yeah. something like that and you know what you had a point because yeah. I did get a sunburn which is so embarrassing. I know. So you what know? would you say your skin type is? I guess combination. Is okay. that what that would be like, considered? Is that, it's like everybody's combination mm -hmm. these days. Um, I feel like, wait, so combination you get A breakouts. little more on the dry side. Okay. Very seldomly get breakouts. Very, very seldomly. Uh -huh. But of course I got a few today, right before I was going to come see the skincare you look great. queen. You look amazing. Um, I, I want my skin to be like, Glowy. dripping in oil. I want to be like Are you slick. Me They're not hydrating your skin. Okay, yes. Which and there's I a difference about between this. hydration yeah. and moisturizing. And Susan actually came to my house about a year ago and went through my routine with me and told me exactly what to do. Yeah. Well, I might have and given I you too many products. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew you weren't going to use it. As soon as I like told her what to use, I could see in her eyes. I was like, oh my gosh. She's like, nah, she's not going to do it. But I probably gave you too much. You ready? I'm ready. I mean, right. now or never. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Don't know if this is doing anything, but I can literally do it all day. I need help. Does it do anything? <laughs> I did it today, it felt good. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my teeny tiny bathroom. Today's video is by far the most requested video I have ever had on this channel since I launched it about a year ago. The number of requests I've had for this topic are through the roof and today is the day I am going to be bringing you guys on the journey that is my skincare routine. Before we jump into all of that though, I just want to give a major shout out and a thank you to Pros. I am a diehard fan, a longtime fan of Pros. It's a custom hair care brand that you can literally customize top to bottom if you're like me and Wait, Pros has a curl cream now? They do. They just came out with it. That's what I'm using today. They finally jumped into the curly world officially. I love it. Get yes. that coin. Get yes. that coin. I have to. Yes, yeah. indeed. I love it. I love it. We'll fast forward through that. Um, but I love it. Get that pros. As I hinted at, this is a video that has been highly requested. And if I'm being honest and totally transparent with you guys, I have been knowingly and purposefully putting off making this video primarily because the concept of making this video is so wildly overwhelming for me because I feel like I have so much I want to tell you. I don't even know where to start. And today I'm just going to go ahead, start at the beginning and walk you guys through my entire skincare routine, which disclaimer is 
very, very lengthy. So I'll tell you my resolution this year for my skin, yes, one of them, okay. was to actually take it down a notch. Oh, ooh, all right. But, and you know, I'll tell you why. Okay. Because I'm starting to find that the more products I use, mm -hmm. the, I don't know, it's just like, it seems like my skin's not loving it. Interesting. I think it's all marketing. I've decided it's yeah. all marketing and I, I was taken by the marketing. And I, I am love skincare. fully <laughs> openly taken by the marketing. Yeah. I am a person who's like, more is more. Like the Coco Chanel thing that's like, when you get dressed, take one thing off. I'm like, nah, girl, <laughs> let's put a few more things on. And I feel the same way about everything. Yes. So this is hard for me. Yeah. Montage moment. Ooh, look Before we jump into the routine though, there are a few things that I think are really important to share with you guys because the more knowledge you have, the more power you have. The first thing I wanna share is the fact that I am 37 years old. <gasps> I know. We were joking earlier, uh, right before we started shooting this video, that we're like the only adults on YouTube, right? It's crazy. Well, I think people just don't realize my age. I've never lied about it. I think it's good to celebrate your age because like, I think it's you know, personality. it takes time also to get to where you want to go in life. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to say how old I was so that people could kind of like have expectations for my skin type or maybe like why I don't have like same skin issues as them because I think age does affect your skin. Obviously. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. You guys are probably gasping. Some of you might already know my age. Some of you might think that I'm 74, which according to Wikipedia is the case. Uh, yeah, the reason true. I share this is because at 37, my skincare needs are significantly different than they were when I was 17, which is around the time I started really getting into skincare because of some major acne issues I was having. I also think it's just important that in 2020, people and women are honest about their age. They feel confident and I also share my age because I think it's important that I am here to be a representative openly and honestly of the 37 year old woman community. This I was telling everybody I am so <gasps> proud to be my age yes. because that means I have wisdom, I have the experience, I have gotten yes. where I am because of that, you know? So true. Yeah. And also, like, I think, personally, for me, my skin has gotten better as I've gotten Same. older. I, I mean, because I take better care of my skin. 100%. Right? Besides totally agree. going on honeymoons and not wearing sunscreen. 37 for a few 38. more months, then I'll be with you. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Second thing I think is super important to share is my skin type. My acne was 100% tied to stress and hormones. 20 years later at 37, I'm still dealing with a little bit of this acne issue totally tied to my menstrual cycle. I know TMI, sorry if that freaks you out. So I'm in this weird age range where I'm still kind of dealing with acne, but my primary issue is anti-aging. When am I gonna stop getting zits and have to worry about wrinkles at the same time? It's like, isn't life complicated enough? I know it can be a really hopeless situation and that it can really impact self-confidence when you don't feel comfortable in your own skin and I personally feel my most beautiful my most confident most myself when I'm just totally naked in this space so what do you say let's get started For me <laughs> okay wait you know well first off I love that you're using your old pictures you look like a different person in some of those pictures it's so crazy I know I was telling someone the other day that it's just like genetic in my family like a lot of like baby fat like just the drops. cheeks and then you know as it turns out as the age and you use you lose, lose all your collagen and everything starts all the collagen all sagging the you, you say you break out when you are during your menstrual cycle. yes either like right around when I'm gonna start my period or stress okay stress for sure interesting and in very specific places like where? too like I find when it's stress related I'll get them like under here which is very mm. weird and they're very painful uh, and then for my period it's usually like more in like this area kind of yeah beyond that I'm pretty fortunate honestly you know what's amazing also about our age is um, you just know so much more about what's happening yes, with your body and it's why not a things mystery. are happening. Yes, yes. exactly. Because it's happened enough times now in your it's life. It's been going on for 20 years, you know, <laughs> plus. Yeah. Bee skincare is a very holistic thing. What the hell does that mean, Jocelyn? What is the word holistic? Holistic basically means that I'm taking everything into consideration. And for me, skincare starts from the inside out. Yes, it sounds cheesy, but it is actually true. First and foremost, I think sleeping is so important. Getting seven 
seven hours of sleep and having less stress in your life really impact overall skin health. I get stress breakouts if I'm going through a situation. So if you ever see a bunch of zits on my face, please pray for me. So. <laughs> I love it. No, so but true. you know, you're, you're absolutely right. And sleep, absolutely. You guys, this is like the worst I've looked, I feel like, in the past couple of years. And it's because what? I'm tired. Oh my gosh. I'm tired. It's like my eyes. I feel like you, I feel Do like you have get like, like a face mask right well, now because you look amazing. I got makeup as a face mask. <laughs> um, but, uh, but when I, you know, when I take my makeup off the last few months, it's like I've got that newborn. Well, she's not a newborn anymore. She's an infant. Oh, she's so cute. She's, I love her. But she's not sleeping that great these days, which means I'm not sleeping that great these days. And it really mm -hmm. does. It affects when you look exhausted and you feel drained, totally. it even makes your face and your skin look like a different color, I feel like. I always say tired. like my skin looks really sad. Yeah. You know? It's so. absolutely true. And I think that's what happens when you don't, don't get enough sleep. sleep. Sleep, you guys, that's JLo's secret. I was just going to say the same thing. I have heard through the grapevine that she like very religiously sleeps at least religiously. 10 hours a night. At least. And at least. Like she apparently has a bedtime that she almost never strays from. I've heard this from people in the like the underground. Yes, like, same. And the inner like, workings of, yeah. her, of her world. Yes. That you do not mess with her when she's you sleeping. You don't. You do not mess with her when she's sleeping. I want to get to that point into... in my yeah, life. Yeah, don't bother me. <laughs> Never happening. No. Ever. Not, not right now with my kids. <laughs> no. 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 She's got the kids at the age where, yes. you know, she can have some, she yeah. can, they, they don't even want to talk to her anyway. <laughs> to combat stress, I love A, getting at least seven hours of sleep a night, and B, I love getting up very early in the morning, 4.30 or 5 a.m. to have some alone time. I like to spend that time drinking a cup of coffee, doing a little bit of reading, some prayer and meditation time. Another thing that I think helps my skin is eating a lot of foods that are omega fat rich. So we're talking like avocados, olive oil, salmon, those things I truly believe kind of help my skin have a little extra glow. And then of course I drink a ton of water. Hmm. Does it help if you spill it on yourself? Because I'm really good at that. And most recently, just to help with hydration, I have been popping these noon tablets into my water just to really help me stay hydrated. And 100% that does impact the overall hydration of your skin. And last, but definitely not least, another thing I do daily on the regular are vitamins. I have been taking three or four different types of vitamins for a while now. One of them you will recognize. I Wait, okay, so before we get into yes, the supplements, yes. um, agreed. You guys yes. are actually, they're always asking me, like, can you do a video on what you eat and wh like what it yes. is that you eat that makes yes. your skin look better? Yes. 100%, you guys, it's the fat. This is like anecdotal in some ways right. because I'm just saying like from my personal experience and from hearing from nutritionists and stuff, mm -hmm. that is when it's like fats are so important. Water is so important. Is that noon thing? Is that electrolytes essentially? Yes. Yeah. And it really just helps me also feel like yeah. satiated because yeah. I have issues being dehydrated just yeah. like in general and it's been really helpful. That's, you know, so people have gotten, given me so much shit mm -hmm. about saying like alkaline water or electrolytes and all that it kind of stuff. It actually works. Lemon. You guys, there's something about it. Again, I'm not a nutritionist. Science. There's, some, there's something. <laughs> there's something about it that makes me feel like because I used to drink so much water and I felt like I was just peeing it out. Same. And I would be so dehydrated mm -hmm. and I would feel so thirsty. And then I got this one tip from a nutritionist. She was like, I really think that you need to start putting some lemon. Into you told your water. me that actually that yeah. it helps your body actually absorb. That's what the she liquid. told me. And listen, you guys, I don't know. I don't know the science behind this. This is told to me, okay? And I started doing it, and you know what? It helped. it works. It definitely did. And so I drink actually less water than I used to, but I feel mm. like I actually keep that water. And every once in a while, I'll have some alkaline water, or I'll use some kind of a supplement with electrolytes. I love a snobby yeah. water moment. You know? You know I what? love it. You just <laughs> you guys, there's something to it, and and. People were like, you're just trying to sell more stuff to us. And I'm like, no, I'm not. It's not that expensive to get water and put some no. lemon in it. It's really not. It's not spawned by like the lemon association. <laughs> I know. I'm a diehard fan of Tati's Halo Beauty Kiwi Seed Booster. I take one of those. I've been taking these prenatal vitamins. Yes, spoiler alert. We are hoping to start our family very soon. No, I am not currently pregnant as I'm shooting this video. And then lastly, I take a Hum Nutrition Probiotic. Great for your skin. All right, first step. This. I actually don't have the probiotics good for your skin, but I'm so obsessed with all the talk about microbiome. I well, you know, a good, a healthy gut, mm -hmm. which is a I healthy person. Yeah, again, I don't know what probiotics, like the science, all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. You guys, I'm not gonna try to act like I know, um, but I do know a healthy gut leads to healthier skin. Just in general, yes. 
You're trying to have Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm screaming. Yes. Um, so I started taking prenatal vitamins probably like six months ago just because I've heard that's what you're supposed to do. Yep. And I'm still, I taking, believe pre- I'm still taking prenatals because, <laughs> mm-hmm. well, first off, I had a bunch of prenatals that I mm-hmm. purchased yeah. um, while I was pregnant and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then you take them while you're breastfeeding and stuff. So I'm just going to finish off the prenatals. They actually have way more stuff in them. There's a lot more like yes. B vitamins and that kind of stuff, folic acid, all of that. I know so people nice. who have taken prenatal vitamins when they're not trying to have a child. Yeah. Just so that their like hair, skin, hair and everything nails, yes. nails will be stronger. You, yeah. And I think I have noticed a difference. My hair is growing so quickly yeah. right now. So yeah. like maybe I'll take them forever. It's, it's amazing. So prenatals <laughs> are pretty awesome. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. They can some can make you constipated. So you have to be really careful. Oh gosh. Well, thankfully I'm not struggling with that currently. So <laughs> good to know. Okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> this is something that I do on an as needed basis, and it is shave my face with this teeny tiny facial hair razor. I am a mammal that has dark brown hair. It doesn't just grow here, it grows everywhere. And yes, that does mean that I do have a mustache and I do grow some additional peach fuzz on my face. I love to remove this about once a month or so. It helps all of my skincare products penetrate my skin a little bit better. And it also helps my makeup lay flatter. So how I do that is I start here there's the hair and the skin and then on the mustache area I go in the same direction as the hair and then I usually just come right here I'm very careful take a little bit off there now that I'm as hairless as a sphinx cat it is time to actually jump in to the skincare. I was waiting to see how often mm-hmm. you told you said you do it. Like just as needed. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like it's one of those things where you got to be a little bit careful. You make you have to make sure you're changing out your. Yes, your I just throw. I mean, I don't mine don't have replacements. I just throw them. Yeah, away. you just throw them away. Yeah, yeah. Um, which we got we got we we know you guys it's not very sustainable. Mm-hmm. But it's as far as skincare goes, it's actually fine for your skin. Mm-hmm. Um, that peach fuzz, it's it's called Bella's hair. It's there to protect your skin, but as long as you're wearing your sunscreen mm-hmm. on a daily basis, it's totally fine. Um, I, I do it every once in a while. I probably mm-hmm. do it only like once, like once every few months or something. Right. Mostly because I just forget to do it, mm-hmm. but it's not bad for your skin. And if you think about men, why do you think men age so well? It's because they're like exfoliating that layer of deadness off of their face literally every day. Yeah. My dad has the skin of like a baby. Like yeah. it's so tight and mm-hmm. I think that's why. It's because they're shaving and it's not just it's not just removing the hair, it's literally exfoliating mm-hmm. your skin. And so I do think there's something to it. Um, you just gotta be careful. Make sure you're changing out the razor and not nicking your skin. Mm-hmm. Make sure you're doing it on dry skin. Mm-hmm. Um, you're going down. Yes. You, like I saw that like, you went like this, but that, I, I know what you were doing. Here I was just trying to be very careful. Yeah. I already have so little to yeah, work with. Yeah, but you just want to go down. And obviously, you're talking about peach fuzz. Like, if you have um, hair. Like, serious. Like, 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 like I said, I have a mustache. And, like, I do. It's, like, darker hair. But it's not, like, very dense. It's not man hair. What would you recommend for that? Like, laser or something? If you okay. have really, really thick hair, I think you should try to go with, like, laser mm-hmm. electro- electrolysis if you want to get rid of it. Unless you want it. Then yeah. Keep and it's it. it's not because it's going to grow back thicker, you guys. No, it that's doesn't. a lie. It's a totally a, it's totally a lie. Mm-hmm. Um, it's because you don't want to have, one, the, like, stubbliness. But you don't want to get ingrown hairs and irritation. Mm-hmm. That's the big issue. Yeah. So uh, this is totally fine. This is a fine razor to use if it's only on peach fuzz. You want to use a much more intense razor, like a if it's razor. Like thicker hair. Like if you're a man with yes. testosterone, yes. you know, yes. it's like you're growing thick hair. Mm-hmm. So that's that's when you want to switch up the razor. But this kind of like, is that like a tinkle or the shiseido? Yes, and I used to use the Dermaflash, which is like battery Same. operated. Yeah. Um, but I just had issues a little bit with like the Re putting like putting the razors Always, back in. Right? I was having issues, yeah. so I it's got like these. This, these are just easier to th- pull out. Amazon.com, amazing. But um, Kate Somerville is the reason that I started doing Same. this. Same. Because she I mean, did an article in like the New York Times a while back saying said, that she always shaves. All, and and then she also said that every single person in Hollywood that you're like, that person has the most beautiful face, beautiful skin. It's like the least talked about thing that they all straight up shave their faces. Yes. But you don't need to do it often, you guys. No, 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 no. As needed. When the mustache comes back, that's Definitely. when I do it. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. I'm a firm believer in a double cleanse. I always have been. Two of the products that I have been using for probably decades. I'm going to guess pre-cleanse. 
Yes, I love the pre cleanser. Dermalogica. Yeah, yes. You love, you love I've been using it since I was Ever. a teenager. I like know you've been using it. And forever. the other one you gave me, Elemis. Yeah. Is that it? I love that so one good. too. Okay, at this point are the Dermalogica pre cleanse as my oil based cleanser number one. And then for my secondary cleanser, I absolutely love Cetaphil. My skin is a little bit on the drier side, so if I use gel based cleansers, it tends to kind of strip my skin. I highly recommend this Cetaphil cleanser as your second cleanser, but you always gotta start with what's good. Just take a little bit of my hand. I always rub it together first in my hands and then just massage it into my skin. I always do this morning and night. Then Wait, you do it morning mm -hmm. too? Why? Yeah, because I just like oil. No, I let's love cut oil. it. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so you said, but you said your skin is dry. Don't wash your face so much, okay? Okay. So don't all do right. this morning and night. You only need to do this when you're wearing sunscreen and makeup. Okay. That's okay. All. That's okay. all. Okay. Double cleanse only when you're doing. So that. in the morning, just like water. Try water. Start okay. with water. If not, use your Cetaphil. Okay. People don't love Cetaphil because it does almost nothing to your skin. Right. It's very gentle. It's, it's like it's so gentle mm -hmm. that it does nothing. Yes. We can find you something that's a little bit more hydrating for okay, your skin. Okay, great. You know what? Summer Fridays has that new <gasps> amino acids. Oh, I've one. always wanted to try their products and I never have. Oh my god, you have to try their. Uh, Anything my, my, to look like Mariana Hewitt. Right. She's Whatever gorgeous. she's doing. I know. I always look at her pictures. I'm like, hmm, how? So pretty. <laughs> so pretty. Seriously. Um, but uh, but I think my favorite product from them is their newest cleanser. It's their amino okay. acid cleanser. Uh -huh. And it feels so nice on your skin. Great. So uh, you just don't want your skin to feel like it's tight after mm -hmm, you wash it. Mm -hmm. As much as you can anyway. Yes. So try not to wash your face so much. Even like spending all that time in the morning washing it and everything, that might be, it just might be stripping your skin. It probably you know? is. So try, just try it. And okay. Then, and if I will. you feel like you need to cleanse in the morning, which is totally fine. Mm -hmm. Just don't double cleanse and use something that's a little bit more gentle. All right. Okay. And also don't be so rough. Oh, I, know. I know this is like, you know what I see? I see your personality because I know you. <laughs> so you're like going through the video and you're like showing them and stuff like that. And it's like, you're not even thinking about how rough you're being, but you're a little rough woman. No, I definitely am. You're right. Okay. And if I have a lot of makeup on, I'll go in and add a little bit of water just to get all the makeup off. And now I rinse before I even dry off my face. No, that's okay. So you are supposed to add the water. I think that's actually a step that people skip a lot. Oh, they don't like add the water. cleansing oils. Yeah. So I love pre-cleanse, by the way, you guys, is one of the first oil cleansers mm -hmm. that I ever used. Mm -hmm. And I love that one. I still think it's a, it's a great OG cleanser, um, oil cleanser. But one of the steps that people miss is that emulsification of it, because mm -hmm. that's just gonna help get it all off, because you don't wanna have that layer of oil, of on, oil your on your skin. Yeah, so I mean, I kinda point. do, but like not <laughs> yes, at this you do. stage. I know you do, <laughs> exactly. Um, so you wanna make sure that you're emulsifying, and that's helping that cleansing process also. And so, and, and it's actually one of the ways that I judge an oil cleanser is if it emulsifies. Oh, mm -hmm. smart. So you go okay. dry, then you wanna add the water, so you did that perfectly fine, just be a little bit more gentle. All right. Yeah. Cause like, why would I dry off my face? I usually just dangle my face over the sink and do my second cleanse, which is this Cetaphil cleanser. And now, I rinse again. I always. <laughs> it's like so literal. It's like you're just explaining. You know what? I appreciate it though that you're like explaining because that's essentially what I do too. It's like people are people are like your face. I my Harper's Bazaar video. People yeah. are like that that you needed more water with that cleanser, and I was like, it's because I didn't want it. I'm literally standing here like talking to the camera, and then I have like yes this cleanser and stuff, and it's like I don't want it to start dripping everywhere because I wouldn't mess. do it like that. It's no. like I would normally be over the over just the sink. dangle my yeah. face over the sink. Exactly. <laughs> So funny. <laughs> Always dry off my skin with a white towel or a white washcloth. You do want to fight the urge of like ugh, really rubbing your face. You want to be super, super gentle. The reason that I love investing in a ton of these super inexpensive white washcloths and towels is that after you wash your face and you wipe it off and dry it off with a white towel, you may notice that there's still a little bit of makeup coming off your face onto the towel, which means, hey, guess what? Your skin is not clean. It's time to get back in there. If I do have eye makeup on, and that's obviously a very sensitive area, I do like to go in with an eye. So I love that you're gentle with the towel, <gasps> but you, you defeat it purpose by being rough with the oil. I guess I didn't oil. think about the yeah, first exactly. part. Yeah, exactly. It's like, so, but I love that. And, and it's true. It's, it's, if you have makeup on, mm -hmm. on the towel, that means that you do need to go back in. You want to start with a clean face. Otherwise, yes. why even bother? 100%. Yeah. I think that the pre-cleanse can get all your makeup off. Uh -huh. I think maybe okay. just, what I tend to do is just gently mm -hmm. hold it on my eyes and just kind of 
go the, a the bit pre-cleanse? With the pre-cleanse. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah, you don't have to use like, your actual next cleanser on your eyes if you don't, if okay. you don't want to. Okay, good to know. You can just use your pre-cleanse, your oil-based mm-hmm. cleanser, and then just spend a little bit more time there. Yeah, because it's not, it doesn't irritate yeah. at, at all. Exactly. And it's going to loosen up because it's oil. Mm-hmm. So, but let's see what you're, what you're using. This is fine though. Makeup remover. I love this clean canvas from Selmu Dakar. You can use that with a cotton swab or if you're trying to be more eco-friendly like I am personally, I'll use a washcloth and I just dampen that and wipe it right off. So now that my skin is... Okay, so what I will say, mm-hmm. so that's an oil cleanser. Mm-hmm. So it's essentially the same, the same thing. thing. Yeah. So you can just go back with, or you can even start your makeup cleanse with the, with eye, makeup the eye makeup remover. Okay. So that loosens it up a little I bit more. I very seldomly use it because I don't like usually wear a lot of eye makeup so yeah. it's not an issue yeah. but sometimes you don't wear a lot of makeup in general I right? try not to yeah yeah so I mean I'm like I'm in the wrong business I'm like <laughs> I hate wearing makeup yeah I would start and also the washcloths I'm assuming are really soft if mm-hmm. not go with the microfiber I don't love microfiber yes. as my only cleanser I, know I some never use that. microfiber on my face, yeah. only my hair. It's just so soft. Cleanse, one of my all-time favorite products and something that I use at least once a day is Sonia Dakar's Flash Facial. This is just such a great way to exfoliate the skin. I put a few pumps into my hand and when you put this on your face, you can feel the active ingredients working right away. And I do always recommend that you expand your skincare routine to your neck. The gobbler is so important. You put on the flash facial, you let it sit for a few seconds and then what you do is once it's had the chance to kind of dry, not completely, just a little bit. Do you see all of the skin? all of the dead skin that is just slopping off my face right here. And with the neck area, you always wanna go in upward sweeping motions. Okay, it's time to rinse. I have gotten a lot of flack for this product specifically because people are like, oh, it's just the product coming off. And I'm like, I don't I don't know what you're saying and I don't care. Well, I love it. Feels there's good. truth to this, okay? There's okay. truth to this. There's lactic acid in this, which okay. is a very gentle chemical exfoliator. Mm-hmm. Um, you're probably feeling it because it has alcohol in it in the beginning. And so it's like water than alcohol. And you guys will freak out about alcohol. That's not the problem with this product um, because alcohol is in there so that you can feel the lactic acid mm. and it can work a little bit harder for okay. you. It's like stronger. The thing is, is that it's not really doing that much for your skin. It's a $95 product. Yeah. You know, there's only lactic acid in it. And I would almost prefer if you just had a lactic acid serum or something like that. Because you are, I mean, there's truth to what people Mm -hmm. are telling you. It is the product that's coming up that you're seeing. That's Mm -hmm. not your skin. Not that even is, a little bit. But there is exfoliation happening because you are manually exfoliating your face. Oh, okay. But what I will say is people are probably wondering this, but Huda Beauty's Wishful. Oh, that, I I didn't even know she was making a product. She like just this. made a skincare product. Oh. Um, it's not innovative whatsoever. Really? But it's essentially this. It's $39. It has AHAs and BHAs in it, and it has some fruit enzymes also that will really exfoliate mm-hmm. your skin. So if you like that feeling of yes. like it peeling up, I would go with that. Yeah. I would go with that. Or I could just put like Elmer's glue on my face and peel well, it off. Well, I wouldn't want you to put that on your face. So. <laughs> I will. I'm kidding. Okay. Today is a special day that I am going to do a mask. I don't do a mask every day because hello, I have a job. I don't have time to be like in my bathroom, you know, just doing my thing for 30 minutes. Although I really wish that I did because this is truly my love language. Today I'm going to do the rose gold radiance mask from Sonia Dakar also. It helps take care of all the skincare issues you're having. Most importantly, it hydrates your skin. I'm just gonna go in and put a nice layer of this on my face. Really careful around the eye area. Again, get that gobbler. So the mask is on. I'm gonna let this sit for at least 10 minutes until it's dry, but because I'm a multitasking queen and I truly do not have time to waste, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a little bit about my new curl routine with the Pros Curl Cream, which I am obsessed with. So, yes. my first reaction to this is that I don't like it because it's rose gold, because whenever there's like, those, it's like- But your laptop is rose gold, Susan. (laughs) I'm looking at it. (laughs) You do, you match my laptop right now. But that tells me that it's sort of gimmicky in some ways. And then it makes me wonder, yeah, it makes me wonder what ingredients are in there. There's like mica and stuff that gives it Mm -hmm. it the shimmer and Mm -hmm. everything. I don't love that stuff for Mm -hmm. your skin. 
That said, I looked at the other ingredients and I actually do like what what's in it. I, I like love this products. mask because I feel like with clay masks, typically they're very drying. Dry. Yes. And this one is really hydrating, yeah. which I love. Yeah, this one is a very nice one. There's actually um, some chemical exfoliators in this too. So you don't really, remember I told you you used too many chemical exfoliators last time? Yeah. It's like you don't need to double up, you know? Yes. It's, you just don't need to, yeah. right? So if you are gonna use this, I wouldn't use the other exfoliator in the same okay. routine. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just one. You don't need to. All right. Yeah, because this is gonna do that for your skin. And I will do this, I do this mask very seldomly. Yeah. I mostly do like more hydrating ones, yeah. I would say. That would be better probably mm -hmm. if you're gonna use the exfoliator. So the mask is off. I got it literally everywhere, which is just the way it works when you're as clumsy as me. I did not pat dry my face. I like to kind of let my skin dry naturally to retain as much moisture as possible. My next step is a toner. I have not traditionally been good at applying toners, but it is something I'm trying to get better at this year because from what I'm told, it's just really great for adding more hydration to your skin. This is a new one I've been trying from Garnier and it's a soothing facial mist. Some toners do have like chemical qualities where they work more as exfoliants and I will occasionally use those but they're a little bit harsh on my skin so I've been trying this one. Smells amazing. And to quote my friend Susan Yara, which like, oh my gosh, now I'm realizing I'm terrified that she might see this video. <laughs> she literally has a whole series where she reacts to people's skincare routines. Oh my gosh, Susan, if you watch this, please be gentle with me. But to quote my friend Susan Yara, your skin routine should start at the top of your forehead and go all the way down to your nipple line. I'm not gonna do that today because I don't want this video to get demonetized. So before the toner dries, I like to always go in with this. You don't need the toner, skip it. Great, you're done. just putting extra Trash. stuff on your skin. It has fragrance in it. The way you're, you're, when you start being like, it smells nice. I was like, nah, get That's rid of it. That's a bad sign. It's probably not good for your toner. <laughs> so just get rid of it. You don't need it. Okay. Um, I didn't even look at the ingredients in it. Just get rid of it. All right. You're letting your skin uh, dry naturally, mm -hmm. so it's still damp. You don't need to put your products on when your skin's wet. But just like damp. damp. Okay. Because it's just gonna help everything absorb into your skin. Better. Great. Yeah, so that is true. Yeah. Good to know. Serum, I'm really big into vitamin C serums for hydrating. This one is from Dermalogica. This is the Biolumin C Serum and it's from their Age Smart collection. So I'm just gonna go in with two, three. I would love to put on 10 drops of this. I put it on my fingers and then I just massage and pat it in everywhere, always kind of in upward motions. You wanna put your serum on first because that will allow it to penetrate the skin. If you put products on in the wrong order, it's like literally you never put them on. It's absolutely pointless. Sonia Dakar's oil. So wait, are you proud of me for my vitamin C? I love that you're using vitamin C. I prefer that you throw it into your morning routine and then use a retinol at night. Yes, oh yeah. And retinol, I need to find one that is Gentle. not too harsh. Yeah. Yes, like we'll the one you. you gave me was the Fido retinol. Biosong. Yeah, that's gentle. Yeah, Is I like. I just ran out of it. I oh, need to and get you never more. got it. Again. Yeah, I need to get more. No, I've been using one that I got from Amazon. I've been like testing out all of these like best-selling Amazon products. Yeah. Um, and I think it's too harsh. Is it for the my Liliana skin. one? I don't know. It's like one of the best-selling ones. I it's can't. It's white. White with blue writing. Yep, that's yeah. the Liliana one. Yeah. You would know. <laughs> well, a lot of the viewers know it too. Mm -hmm. It's a really good one. Um, yeah. But I can see that being too harsh. It's a little too yeah, harsh. Yeah, it's for definitely me. too harsh for you. We can we can get you something more gentle. So vitamin C anytime is great. It's good okay. for your skin, especially because you want that brighter look. Mm -hmm. I already know what you're doing wrong though, because I see that you're going into an oil. But let's talk about that after I see what you Here do. Here we go, my favorite part. Oil <laughs> is truly my holy grail. This is the Organic Omega Booster. I put this on immediately following my serum. And this is like a magical product. It's nourishing, it smells fantastic. It's really great for dry and sensitive skin. And I've truly noticed a massive difference in my skin from using Sonia's oil. Up next, I'm gonna change it up a little bit and bring in a tool. Okay. For your specific skin, put a moisturizer on first. Okay. And then put the oil on. The if oil lasts. I know the oil yeah. supposed to go last, but I just like love the way it feels I know. on my naked skin. But put like a nice, just like a gentle, like it doesn't even have to be a thick moisturizer. Just put some kind of a moisturizer. Okay. Most moisturizers, the way they work, the majority of them are a combination of different hydrators and some moisturizers mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. So it's just gonna give you that extra hydration that okay. you need for your skin and then lock it in. And then you can use the oil 
for it's giving you the omega fatty acids and stuff mm -hmm. that are really good to feed your skin and everything but it's really just locking it all in i'm gonna have to do that last you do it last okay. after the sunscreen or before no before the sunscreen okay i wouldn't don't use it during the day don't okay use it don't use it during the day okay. i know you do <laughs> oils are overused okay. people think that they're the thing that's helping their skin and they do if they're used right and I mm. love that you're gonna use a face tool after Oof. using an oil. Yes. That's totally fine because it gives you that slip and everything. Mm -hmm. But the oils are just making everything stay under your skin. Like, I try to use an example and people are like, oh, this is not your skin because mm -hmm. I use like sponges, I think. But when you look at like hydration, hydration is what's gonna absorb into the top layer of your skin and then it's gonna give that plumpness and then the moisturizer too because it's got the combination, right? You've got the hydration that's helping to plump more and then the moisturization taking place as well and that's helping, helping to like soften and lock in everything. Um, but then the oil just kind of sits on the surface. Mm. It, people are it always like, people are like, it absorbs, it absorbs. It's not really, mm -hmm. it's not really, it's softening that top layer of your skin and oh, that's it. Okay. And you need to exfoliate more when you use oils. The oil's helping me add extra steps. Kind right? of, that's, that's my problem with oil. Like I use oil, like if I'm gonna be on an airplane, I'll okay. maybe top my whole thing, my whole- For like, your airplane skincare routine. Airplane skincare routine, exactly. <laughs> Which I know you hate. Before the airplane though, you know, like you can put on an <gasps> yes, oil, if you know you're going to be there like overnight, long flight right. to another country, mm -hmm. something like that. And oil is a great way to mm -hmm. top everything else, right? On top of your moisturizer and stuff. Sometimes at night if you have truly, truly dry skin, the older we get, you can handle more oil, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. Um, but then you have to exfoliate a lot. I people, feel like a lot you're of people don't me think some about really that strong stuff. cases. Yeah. To kick back on my it, oil you need it. I told you this last time. I think I'm just going to have to keep DMing I, you and I, being I, like, Jocelyn, cool it with the oil, unless you're using it to cleanse your face at night. Occasionally, like once a week, if I have a lot of time, I love to go in with my nurse, Jamie Roller. Nurse Jamie is this really incredible skincare expert in LA, and she has these tools that basically work to give you like an instant facelift. So I'll go in, always upward motions and this is essentially like a face massage there's really no wrong way to do it but I do always go in upward motions get that gobbler you can see my skin is kind of getting a bit red and I believe that's because blood is just starting to circulate into those areas and then I also like to go in with the other end and just do a little eye lift and then go from the temples down. Feels amazing. Don't know if this is doing anything, but I can literally do it all day. I need help. Once I'm done. What I the f was that with the, eye, with the end? Who told you that? Did someone tell you to do that? I don't know. No. I don't remember. I really don't remember. You know, I was like, like, I was almost on the verge. I might've even edited it out and being like, I feel like this is like a lymphatic massage. I literally have no idea what I'm talking about at all. Make Making up words. I am all about using one of those tools. You can use it every single night as long as you've got enough slip on your skin with that oil yes. or like thick yes. moisturizer or something like that. You can even put the oil on. Hey, how about this? Put the oil on, then take it off, then do the rest Okay, of your okay, routine. that could be a good middle ground yeah. for me. Nurse Jamie said, like, there's really no, you can't hurt yourself doing this. I mean, you can't. You can, I mean, you can hurt yourself you with can, anything. When but. you turn it around and you grab your eyebrow. <laughs> <laughs> it was a brow lift, Susan. And you drag it. That is That's, not a brow lift. No, 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 no. Just, just take. Take it, I, there's smaller tools too that you can like just gently go up on okay. your brow and that'll help a little bit. Don't do that though. You're just, I'm, I'm not I, allowed to have these I, things. I was like, well, when you said like you can't hurt your skin with this, it's like you can if you don't have, if you're just dragging your skin, yes, you totally true. can. Yeah. Um, I love lymphatic drainage. You are getting that circulation as mm -hmm, we get older. Mm -hmm. It's like Renee Rouleau told me and I oh, hate yes. it being reminded about this. She's like, as we get older, we lose that, that circulation in our face mm -hmm. and it, our skin tone starts to, get ugly she actually hangs her head upside down on her bed she does that's what she told me um because wow. she, she wants amazing. to get that circulation back into the skin okay. and that's totally what you're doing and that's that's the best reason to do okay. this there is lymphatic drainage all that stuff but truly it's just getting that you're just getting everything flowing getting some blood yeah. pumping i always think uh, there's another esthetician nara de joy mm -hmm. she always talks about like like if you think of a river when a river is flowing all the water is clean and beautiful mm -hmm. but if it's stagnant and stuck in a place then it starts to get dirty and gross, right? And that's the same with our skin and everything. It's like in our bodies, just oh, in general. It's like sad and it's gross. like if our skin's just staying. That's why she's like, don't do too much Botox, don't too much do too much yes. filler and stuff, because it's just causing it to Clogging. stay yes. in one place. But a little bit's okay. Uh, but a little bit. 
time. A little bit of time. <laughs> it better have, be. <laughs> yeah, but so you want that movement. You want to like flush everything, yes. get that circulation going and stuff. So that's good, but don't drag your skin. Okay. Okay? Good to know. You freaked me out. And with the serum and the oil, that is when I go in with an intensive moisture balance. I love Dermalogica's primarily because it is pretty gentle and my skin sometimes is sensitive. So I go in with the moisturizer, which you have to put on after your serum. Really locks everything in. Get that gobbler. Don't forget, as of late, because I've made the commitment this year in 2020 to use eye cream, I've been using the bio. You didn't tell me that you actually do use a moisturizer in this routine. Oh yeah, I do, but it's like very late in the game. Okay, so yeah, after the oil. Definitely put it on before the oil. Even, okay. I would even put on this eye serum, and you know why? It's like, oil is thick, mm -hmm. and if you think about all your products, the moisturizer, the eye cream, they're water-based, mm -hmm. and what's water? can water penetrate oil? So you're just like wasting the product at this point. It's expensive. I know, too. you don't Crap. want to waste it. So put this on before okay. oil. Illumin C eye serum from Dermalogica. The before and afters of me using this product after just a handful of days were mind blowing. So with eye cream, you want to go ahead and get this entire under area, the side, and then also above the eye. We are almost to the end. We just have a few steps left. <laughs> There's still more. <gasps> I know, this is so long. Oh my gosh, I forgot. What is going on? I don't no, know. I um, barely have no life. No, I love this. Great. Great tips with all the eye stuff. I like that eye serum. Um, I'm not huge on eye serums. I no, I know you're not either. It's like, well, because yeah. even that um, serum that you used mm -hmm. earlier, like you're getting the benefits of the vitamin C right. there, right? So you're just kind of like doubling up. There, I, there's nothing wrong with it. Okay. Do okay. it. Do you. And in my opinion, if you are going to commit to one thing this year, it absolutely has to be a moisturizer with sunscreen. I have a ton of skin cancer in my family, which is another reason I'm very passionate about taking care of my skin because I've just seen how truly crucial it is so I love the Prisma wait is this your nighttime routine or your daytime routine um daytime okay yeah okay so this whole time I was thinking this is your night oh. <laughs> I mean lot. I basically do the same thing at for night your too. daytime protect from Dermalogica it is the 30 SPF and it also looks great under makeup go in and if you are someone that's watching that's intimidated by any of this information and you're gonna walk away wanting to use one thing it is absolutely Absolutely, the sunscreen. I'm almost good to go. Lest I, I love that you're using yes, sunscreen. Yes. Um, you probably don't need to use. Again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you have the oil on underneath all of this, <laughs> so that's all I'm thinking about at this point. It's f***ing with my head. I'm having a hard time concentrating now. Um, so let's let's act like the oil's not in the The oil's routine, gone. Okay? The oil's dead, okay? You probably don't need this moisturizer on top of it. And this tells me that you're not feeling like you've got enough moisture. And I think it's because of the oil. Because you're like doubling up Gosh, on moisture. Okay, so it's it. like it's like you only need this moisturizer. You could cut that last moisturizer and, and just use the sunscreen. And this because this is a moisturizer with sunscreen. Okay. In it. The only problem I have with uh -huh, using uh -huh. a moisturizer with sunscreen, and I know we talked about this, like you're you're Because you like, use a separate like sunscreen. I use it separate. And the only reason is because I really go to town with my sunscreen. You know, I won't use as much moisturizer mm -hmm. as I will sunscreen, I guess. Oh, I see. So it's okay. like I'm going to double up the amount that I use of the sunscreen versus the moisturizer. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that you're using enough sunscreen. That's my okay. only issue. Okay. So sometimes I double up. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right, so now that I know also mm -hmm. that this is your morning routine, yes. I take that back. You don't need the retinol right now because this is your morning routine. But I do need it at night. You do need yes. it at night. You know why I thought this was yes. your nighttime routine? Because, I had well, no first off, it's dark back there. It's dark, yes, I know. It, this but, routine was so long, the sun actually set <laughs> no, while it was doing while it. While you're recording it. The reason why I thought it was your nighttime routine is because it's so long. Yes. I think it's like minimal for morning. So then definitely don't double. And that's the other reason. You double cleanse. So I thought this was your nighttime routine. I like doing double cleansing. Like it's, I like doing a lot. Obviously. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Cut the double cleansing in the morning. If anything, only one cleanser in the morning. I still don't even think you need that. I want you to try both. Okay. Try like a week with not cleansing your skin. Just, just using some water to rinse off. All right. That's it. Just okay. see. Just All see. Right. Okay. Right. But yeah. So I thought this was your nighttime routine for the longest time. But so vitamin C in the morning is totally fine. I'm gonna let you continue, and then at the end of this, we're gonna have a whole talk, okay? All right. Forget my lips. Sarah Happ, who is an amazing entrepreneur and has amazing lip products, makes a really great lip scrub. Gotta take care of those lips, too. Massage that in for a few minutes, maybe take a lick. 
Mmm, tastes good. Wipe it off, literally using my robe because I forgot a towel. And the final step in this skincare routine is lip balm. I'm pretty obsessed with Glossier in general as a brand and I love their lip balm. Feels great, is not sticky, super hydrating, great for chapped lips. Okay my friends, now 45 minutes later, we are officially done with my 500 step skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed watching this video if I have to give you a little bit of advice my two pieces of skincare advice that you absolutely need to be living by are one never under any circumstances go to bed at night with makeup on and two start working in a sunscreen it is the best thing you can do for your future self and I mean that from the bottom of my heart not only does it prevent skin cancer it also prevents wrinkles I don't know about you but I'm trying to keep those things at bay if you guys have any questions, hit the comment section. Let me know. I'm going to link to every single product that I used in this video. And also let me know if there are any other videos you would like me to make. I am here for you guys. 2020 is the year to be your true self, to be comfortable in the skin that you are in, whatever that means, whatever that looks like, whoever you are, you do you boo. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe. I love that. Oh I mean, my gosh. absolutely. Like this is, your skin looks great. Thank it really you. Is, it's glowing. And I'll Thank tell you, you, like I'm giving you all these critiques. You're doing so much more. I'm always want to better doing, my best. You're doing so <laughs> much more than the average person. Like I said, I don't do all of this every day because I don't have that much time yeah. like to do this every day. Yeah. But I like to yeah. when I can. I mean, I mean, yes. When Without you all the talking, it's a lot faster. It's true. That is absolutely Making true. Making excuses at this point. Um, you know, it's something I want to point out because I think people are going to say this. I always talk about like inflammation and stuff of your mm -hmm. skin and like you see people's skin turn red. What you were doing with that redness that you were getting was yes. definitely more circulation, you guys. Mm -hmm. And so that's something to keep in mind. Okay. Um, you could definitely take this down a notch. So what I would do is in the morning, and we'll address nighttime later. This is a whole other video for nighttime because I have a feeling <laughs> it's even longer. <laughs> nighttime's even worse, okay. Okay, so what I would like for you to do in the morning is to wake up and try just rinsing your skin. Great. And if that's not working, then just use a really gentle cleanser in the morning and that's it. Don't double cleanse in the morning. Okay. You don't need it. All right, so after you cleanse your face, mm -hmm. uh, and this is an even more reason why you shouldn't be um, like using too many cleansers in the morning is you're gonna exfoliate them. Okay. And it's totally fine, you can exfoliate it in the morning or at night, mm -hmm. I tend to do it in the morning too. Um, you can put on an exfoliating serum mm -hmm. or something similar to this. Try that Wishful one by okay. Huda Beauty. Okay. Um, it's funny, I didn't even think I'd be like recommending it to people. And here we but are. But here we are because you like that kind of yes. product. Definitely use that because you're gonna get all the chemical exfoliators that you actually need for your skin, but then you can have fun with it too. Okay, great. You get to do all that, you know, the yeah, peeling I up like of the it. fake skin. Yeah, I like it. Or yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. Just be gentle when you're doing it. Okay. Because you're still rubbing your skin, so don't be rough with that. Okay. You know what I mean? Um, and then what I would do is after you've gotten that all off, what I would do is then go in with the vitamin C serum. Be very aware of your skin and see how it's reacting to that kind of a combination of using vitamin C with chemical exfoliators. I think you're going to be fine mm -hmm. because you already do it. Right. Like yes. you're actually in this routine using two <laughs> chemical exfoliators and the mask also. everything together. And then you're going into vitamin C and people always think that they like cancel each other out, but that's not true. Okay. What they're doing is sometimes they're both actives, right? You're exfoliating your skin, then putting vitamin C and it's an antioxidant. So it's good for your skin, but it can be very acidic. Mm -hmm. Cause if you think about like lemons and right, oranges and stuff, they're acidic. So if your skin is reacting, it might be that combination, but it seems like you'll be fine doing that whole mm -hmm. thing. I would go from the vitamin C to the eye cream mm -hmm. and then I would go in with your moisturizing SPF. And then I'd maybe even go in with more SPF. So my skincare routine literally just went from 15 steps to like 3.5 because one of them is water. <laughs> so, wow. Listen, you can use that face roller if you want. Okay. Maybe you make it a nighttime thing that okay. where you indulge, put that oil on once a week. <laughs> on top of everything and and then use your roller. You know okay. what I mean? That's okay, that's our con that's the consolation. Okay, right? okay, great. Once a week, throw the oil on on top of the rest of your routine on top of the moisturizer, use your roller. And I'll send you a picture of myself I doing. like it. And then top it with your lip balm. I love that one. Balm.com by Glossier is my favorite Glossier product. I don't actually even love a lot of the Glossier products, mm -hmm. but I love that stuff. It's amazing. It's the best. It feels it really so is. good. I, I use it every day. My tubes, I like run out of tubes all the time. 
I love you so, so much. You I guys, love you too. subscribe to Jocelyn's channel. I'll leave all her social information because you're all over the place, right? I'm everywhere. There's so yes. many channels. I'm going to leave them all <laughs> below in the description box. There are the people that make you feel bad about yourself on social media, and then there are the people that make you so happy in life. And that you're one of those people. Honestly. Oh, I'm glad. I'm Every glad. time I see your posts, I'm like, I'm just so happy. You're so happy. You're so sweet. You're so I happy. Feel the I'm same. happy. I love you so much. It's just a love fest. It really is. <laughs> and we're going to get your skincare right. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Bye.